Too or no? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Does your husband drink these or no? Yeah, his favorite is these. Can I get one? Oh, these are the big ones. Oh, they have the bomb balls too. Yeah, these are cute. Yeah, let me get some. Yeah, these are so cute. Can you grab me one more yeah. of those? I'll grab two of them. You get the big ones right now. You get the big ones, right? No, I just get the ones. Well, the big ones are for these. Unless you want a lot of bigger gotcha. okay. drink. Three. Have you tried any of these? Like the kombucha? Oh, this is a kombucha. I'm gonna try the kombucha. I've had this one. This one's super sweet. It's good, but it's sweet. Wait, Angel had a watermelon one, but it was su it was sweet for me. But he said he liked it. Right, three, four. Oh,
talk to the vlog at all this entire video i feel like it's been like a lot of like montages and like showing you what i'm doing but not actually talking so yeah today is what is today the I'm not even sure what today is. But anyways, um, my husband, he is on leave right now. And we have just been, like, spending to spending time together this week. Like, going on little lunch dates and little, you know, little cafe dates. And last week, I was just, like, super busy with um, making doormats. If you guys don't know, I make custom doormats. I'll put some pictures on the screen. Um, I've been so busy with that. I posted it on one of the Army Work pages. And... It kind of blew up. I bought 15 mats from Ikea and I sold out all those mats within like three days. Like everybody was ordering them and I'm like so thankful but I was so busy making these mats like and I'm the type of person when somebody orders something like I want to get it done for them as soon as possible. I don't want them to wait. So not like rushing it like I'm going to do a bad job but like um, I just wanted it to look I just don't want them waiting too long on their order so when they would place an order I'd like start it immediately get it done and then give it to them so last week was really busy but in a good way I love like being productive I love like just being busy because I'm pretty sure you all know that I struggle with like anxiety and stuff like that and depression so when I'm not busy and when I don't have things to do I'm like in my head a lot I'm overthinking but when I'm like busy doing stuff like I'm okay so I love to just always be busy and doing something um so yeah that was last week um I went to a cafe date last week I'll try and put the dates on the clips you see I think I've been putting I'll try and put dates on the clips that you guys see um but yeah anyways, like I said I'm so happy that he is on leave this week because like we really need some time together guys like it's like we rarely get date night because we don't really we just I don't know we just don't have a sitter like I mean we went out once but like we just don't get date nights as often as we like to plus I don't know but going out for like lunch is like a whole different vibe because restaurants are like more not as busy it's just more low-key which I love the whole lunch date type of thing I love that um anyways we just had coffee at a little place called um the cottage and here they don't have pumpkin spice at Starbucks the the Starbucks here they don't have like all the drinks they have in America like they have like they have a very minimal menu which is annoying <laughs> but yeah we're not gonna get like all the seasonal apple cider pumpkin spice type of drinks so we found this um coffee shop here that has their version of pumpkin spice and it's okay it's not it's not bad it just tastes a little bit more like they use a little bit maybe too much pumpkin but it's still good so we went and had coffee this morning i was gonna eat breakfast there but i wasn't really feeling their menu um so he's at the px right now he's grabbing us some um breakfast burritos we're gonna eat breakfast in the car have a little coffee burrito date and then we're gonna go to the um driving range because he's been golfing i don't know if i've said that or not he's been golfing a lot and he's actually pretty good at it now sorry excuse me so I told him I was like I've never seen him like play in person not play is that the word I don't I've never seen him golf in person he showed me like videos of himself but I've never been to the range with him that's just something that he likes to do on his own and stuff so I was like I'm gonna come with you today and watch you golf I'm probably gonna try and golf too I don't know this vlog will go I don't know how this vlog is gonna go like I said I feel like it's just been a lot of like montages where you're just like seeing me do stuff but not talking to the camera i'm so bad at vlogging like it's like you're trying to live in the moment and get footage of what you're trying to see but then also turn it and like talk to the camera that's i struggle with that especially when i'm out with other people and the ladies that i went to um these coffee dates with like i was just like meeting them like they're like new people like and i don't want to just throw a camera in their face and be like what are you doing so I wasn't like talking to the camera but i was getting like footage of the beautiful cafes we've seen some like really pretty cafes like that was one of the reasons why i wanted to come to korea so bad because the coffee the the cafes it's just so pretty to me i love all that so yeah um but i'm sorry i've not been on the camera i haven't posted it's been about two weeks since i posted so i'm gonna try and get this vlog up as soon as possible this will probably be it i don't know i don't know i don't know so we're at the golf course and he's swinging. 
I'm not good at it yet, but I have a good teacher. Right, babe? So it's a different day. We are, um, I'm vlogging on my phone, so I'm kind of looking this way. But right now we are at this little kids play place with the kids. It's Friday and we wanted them to have some fun. Oh, I'm about to slip and fall <laughs> before the weekend. Um, hold on, I'll show you what it looks like in here. I like this set though. This is really pretty. I love this. So pretty. This is a cute to have. What is this little makeup set? No. Oh, it's like a pretend makeup set. Uh huh. Mom, this is like a little unlike pretend. Well, you had that, remember? Yeah, but I wish I had it. It's so pretty. I don't know where it went. Hey guys, so it is days later. It's on a Friday. Um, today, well today, tonight I'm actually going to be um, babysitting my friend's daughter while they go on date night. And I decided I'm going to do like a little movie night for the kids, like a little charcuterie board. What, Eli? Can I do, can I do a Crocs? Crocs for what? Yeah, so, so, like, so yeah, like I said, we're going to have like a little charcuterie board movie night with the kids. Well, they're going to have a movie night. I'm going to be busy um, doing like little crafts and stuff because, oh, hold on my camera. Um, tomorrow is the kids all three of them it's their last games of the season and what i'm going to be doing is making like goodie bags for all the kids plus i have to get um the coaches their gifts together like bagged up not bagged up but like i'm going to show you guys how what i did for the um for the coaches gifts but i wanted to show you guys a quick haul from daiso and 7-eleven here show you like some of the korean treats because it's going to be like a korean themed movie night like i got korean um when I get Korean snacks and stuff. So I'm going to show you what I got from Daiso. Some of the stuff I got from Daiso is for the goodie bags. Some of it is for the um, coach's gifts. So first is Daiso. But before I show you that, I want to show you guys these little, are they called giblets or giblets? The things you put on Crocs. We are new to the Croc game. I got a new pair in the mail today. Um, I got the white pair. I'm wearing the black pair right now. Um, the kids, I ordered theirs from Amazon too. Theirs is coming in the mail probably in the next few days. But yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. Like, I didn't know that Crocs were so comfortable. I had a pair of slides, a Croc slides. Those are comfortable too, but like the actual Crocs, these are so comfortable. So 
we're new to the crowd game but anyways i got some what are these like i said giblets giblets whatever you call them i got some gaming ones for eli he loves roblox there's that one and i got uh oh some are falling it says roblox these are so cute they're like little gaming themed i'm just gonna call them charms that's what i'll call them charms and they're so cute little um sorry my nails look terrible i've been like peeling the um the gel off my nails so my nails look crazy but look how cute those are i just thought those were really cute little roblox themes those are all from amazon but anyways that's not what this haul is about let me tell you what i got from daiso so the first little snack i got was these little don't ask me what these are i have no idea they're like obviously little cakes and stuff but i cannot i don't know what that says it just says mini something but it's basically mascarpone cheesecake dessert bars um i'm gonna put that on the charcuterie board i thought those were interesting for the kids to try um i got madeline's cheer coach a little mug you'll see in a second what her gift looks like oops hold on break that i got some marshmallows it's gonna go on the charcuterie board grab um these are juniors he picked out some headphones um my husband he's been as you saw earlier in the vlog he has been loving golfing and he got him some tailor-made golf balls these were only five thousand won for how many balls are here i think i don't know how many balls i think i want to say four golf balls are in there but we also grabbed a box for eli's um t-ball coach because he plays golf too so we grabbed a few boxes what maddie then i grabbed madeline's coach um a honey face mask i got some gold bows to go for her little goodie bags for her um i'm gonna show you everything when i'm done so you're gonna it's all gonna make sense what i got them um eli picked out a little basketball hoop five below it's i call it five below it's daiso but it's basically like a korean five below and nothing is over five dollars so we let them pick out something every time they come but um i got myself some nail five they picked out some um batteries i don't know how well these work they're only three thousand one they're probably cheap but we needed batteries um i grabbed a hole puncher i needed that i grabbed some thank you cards for the coaches I grabbed a towel that's gonna go with his gift. Um, what else do I have in here? I needed a stapler. I needed a stapler for their goodie bags, but I also just need one in general. We don't own a stapler for some reason. Um, let's see, I grabbed, so this little stuff you're gonna see in a second is for my friend's daughter. This is her first time being babysat by anybody since they've been in Korea. So I wanted to kind of like make her feel special and like um, make her a little gift bag, goodie bag type of thing. just so she can feel extra she's been around me i babysat her before in her house but this is the first time she's been babysat in our house so i just want to make her feel extra you know special and comfortable so i picked her out some costume jewelry um i got her this little little marker set thing um i grabbed no this is madeline's madeline picked this out it's like a little um little animal set it's really cute that was only 3,000 won. That's really cute, actually. Um, I grabbed a little girl. I'm not going to say what her name is. I don't know if her mom wants her name on my YouTube. But um, I grabbed her this cute little... Is it a workbook or like a coloring book? Oh, it's like a little coloring book. It's super cute. This was only 2,000 won. And then I grabbed a bath bomb for her and these scrunchies. This is a part of Madeline's goodie bag for her cheer team. But yeah, and then there's some more golf balls in there. So that's everything from Daiso for the coaches' gifts, for the goodie bags, and for my friend's daughter. Now I'm going to show you what I got from um, 7-Eleven for the snacks tonight. I'm making a huge mess on this table. So the first snack I got from there was this caramel cheese popcorn. This is probably going to be for me because I love this type of stuff caramel cheese popcorn you know those tins you get from Chris for Christmas from like Walmart and stuff that's what this reminds me of so I wanted to try that um I got these lemon Ritz lemon Ritz sandwich crackers <laughs> I've seen these recently on like was it TikTok I want to say and everyone says they're good so I wanted to get these to try them out for the charcuterie board 
I grabbed some Oreo Thins Vanilla Mousse Oreos. Got those. Um, also grabbed these little Korean Cheetos. I don't know what flavor this is. It's in Korean. I'm gonna have to use my app. I have an app on my phone where you can like take a picture of anything that is in Korean and it'll translate it. So I don't know what flavor this is, but they look interesting. We'll see how that is. Um, I grabbed this random Hershey's Cookies and Cream Milk. I don't know, Eli, he claimed that. So I grabbed that. I grabbed um, an orange Fanta, the Korean one. Grab that. I grabbed a Welch's, oh, it's zero. What, it's like sparkling grape soda. It says zero, I didn't realize it said zero, so it's probably like sugar-free. Grab that. Grabbed a Tropicana sparkling mango drink. We'll see how that is. You're gonna see how I have everything set out. And then for the candy for them, I just picked up these random Trolley Kiss strawberry candies. And I'll put that on the board somewhere. And then last but not least, I just grabbed me some more ice cups. You guys, I have been obsessed with these ice cups to make my own iced coffee. Well, not make my own iced coffee, but like I use the coffee pouches and I make well, I don't make it, but I just prepare my own iced coffee with those pouches. And I have been loving these. I know these aren't that great for the environment, but I also use my own cups too. But sometimes I like to just grab the convenient ice cups. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Daiso and 7-Eleven. So when the little girl gets here, I'm gonna like set up movie night so they can watch a movie. I'm gonna continue to work on like crafts and stuff, not crafts, but like the goodie bags It's crafting to me. And I'm going to work on that while they watch a movie. And I think I'm going to set up the camera so I can show you guys like how I do the charcuterie board. And I'm going to definitely show you the goodie bags. I'm going to show you the um, the gifts for the coaches. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. TT. Two-turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew aside. All the niggas brown me. almost nine o'clock and I am still doing um, the goodie bags for the kids. I knew it was gonna take me a while. But I wanna show you guys so far what I have. Okay, so for Junior, he's playing football. So I made these, well I didn't make them, but the little pudding cups, um, I saw this on Pinterest. If you just do that little simple design, it looks kind of sloppy, it's definitely not my best, but whatever, they're boys, they're not gonna care. But yeah, I just thought that was a cute little football touch. Um, these are the little goodie bag um, bags. I have paint all over my hands, like what's happening? Um, in here they have um, Gatorade, Pringles, some um, lollipops, and I'm gonna put the pudding in the bag. Look at my table, like I, mm, I don't know. And then I'm going to paint the bags. Um, I'm gonna do like a little football design similar to um, the pudding cups on the bag. It's gonna be so cute, so I'll show you guys those when they're done. And then over here, um, this is for Eli's team. It says Great Season Marvels. I had these um, stickers made because my printer is not working, so I couldn't make my own stickers, unfortunately, but that's okay. I was able to support another small business. Um, I had to be very um, mindful of the treats for his team because one child on the team, he has um, some severe allergies, so I had to make sure um, I had dairy-free and nut-free snacks, so I have some pretzels in there. Um, fruit burst pouches, uh, those little Google -Go speeds, those um, juice, and then some fruit snacks. So I couldn't be um, 
I couldn't be as creative for their snacks, but I think the kids will still all enjoy them. I just thought those were so cute for the end of the season, um, little goodie bag snacks. So for Madeline, her team, I made these little, hold on, let me grab a few more out. I made these little, um, what are these called? What are these suckers called? Blow pops? No, Tootsie Pops. I wanted the blow pops. I'll put a picture of what I originally wanted to do, but I could not find blow pops anywhere here for some reason. So I decided to use Tootsie Pops and I just made little cheerleaders. I also found this idea on Pinterest. Look how freaking cute that is, you guys. So cute. And I made different little ones. Um, some of them have straight hair, ones with curly hair. I just thought those were so cute and just a little cute little cheerleader touch to the little goodie bags for them. I also have these bags left over because I used to make um, I used to make bath salts and I would put them in here. So their little treats are gonna go in there. Um, I also grabbed them some scrunchies. They're each gonna get one scrunchie each. And then I got these stickers made for them. It's gonna go on the, it's gonna go on here. It says, we are fierce from our bows to our toes. So with that, they are getting, can see what it says um so all this idea on pinterest i get all my ideas pretty much like everyone from pinterest they're each gonna get a nail polish i got like little basic colors like pinks and stuff like that a pink one right here they're each gonna get a nail polish they're each gonna get a nail file and um a little scrunchie so I'm gonna show you, I know it looks a hot mess, you're probably like, what is this girl doing? But when it's all done, I'm gonna show you guys and you know, see how cute it all came together. Okay, so I finished Madeline's team's um, little gift bags and I don't know if I said it before, but it's a nail polish in there, a scrunchie, the little sucker cheerleader girl and a nail file in there. But y'all, look how cute these turned out. They turned out so cute. I cannot wait for Madeline to pass these out tomorrow to her friends. She's really excited. Zanny boss, what's our door? Brand new bag. College girls, give me nigga head in my rhymes. Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh. Hey, the bitches they hate, and you can't miss what you never had. Hey, hey, I'm the juice, don't even got me tripping. Got the coupe, walk the roof is missing. 